Here is the full story on how I got super shredded in 90 days only. So this was in a span of literally three months of me going from pudge to super shredded. Shit was crazy. Look stage ready for this shit. So I'm going to give you guys the full list of what I did for three months straight on repeat. So you guys literally have the fucking blueprint to implement for yourself. People charge fucking loads of money for this. So I'm going to give this shit honestly just for free to help you guys hit that next level fast as fuck. So let's get right into it. So I have a little list right here. I'm going to just be reading it off of it. But the first thing was knowing my vision. So I knew exactly what I wanted to look like, act like, be that man. Because if you don't have that solidified for yourself, then you're just aiming at a fucking dartboard, just throwing darts. And hopefully it fucking lands right in the middle. You're aiming to the left, you're aiming to the right, and you wonder why you can't get it right in the center. You have to know exactly and precisely how you want to look. Do you want six a six pack? Do you want tons of muscle on you? Do you want veins popping off the shoulders and the chest? Do you want to uh, be more aesthetic or do you want more strength? Do you want to be more of a power lifter of some sort or do you want um, just gains? Like it, it all depends. So knowing my vision and also with the vision itself, wanting to change for myself as well because I was in the time period during my life when all the shit went down is that I was at my like lowest of the lows. I was at rock bottom and nothing really going for me. And I was watching porn on fucking repeat and it shit, that shit just fucked me up really bad. So I wanted to make a change of a better change for myself to get out of that hole that I kept digging for myself because I was sick and tired of it. I was kind of going to the gym and then I noticed is that it was get, the addiction was getting so bad that I was missing so many days at the gym that it went from five days a week down to three days a week. So I knew something was terribly fucking wrong because I've been consistent with the gym like pretty much my whole life with when I was going since I was 14 years old. So it really took a toll to know that, oh shit, this addiction is really taking over. So I knew I had to make a change. And I went all in on the vision. I didn't look back. I didn't say like, oh, this is mad expensive to buy this or this or this. I just fucking did. I don't give a shit. I'm a savage with this shit as you fucking should be too, because then you're not going to get anywhere in life. If you're not a savage, that's how the best be the best. So that's what I did. And what I was taught was have be in a caloric deficit. So take in less calories, burn more, and it comes down to your macros. So your calories are going to be different, most likely compared to mine, it's going to depend upon your metrics. So I can't say that you should be at this or that that you're going to have to figure out. Okay, so calorie deficit for that you can use a macro calculator, they're all online. They're literally if you just type in fucking on Google, they come up. So do that for yourself. And then your macros. So your macros are your carbs, your fats, your proteins. So this is different from your caloric intake. Okay, so your caloric intake may be 2,000 uh, or 17, 18, 1,900 per day. And then your, calor uh, your macros are going to be your carbs, your fats, and proteins once again. So there's different splits depending on the type of goals and vision that you want. Okay, so... For the split that I was in, mine was where it was more carbs and then I had the perfect amount of protein and just enough fat to give me energy for the day. So I had more carbs to take in than my protein. It's very common to have the fucking protein 1 to 1.5 or even 2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. That's not the fucking case if you want to look super fucking shredded. You need a little bit more carbs, just the right amount of protein, because if you put too much fucking protein in your body, your organs and your bones are going to be feeding that. We don't want that. We don't need that extra protein at that moment because of what we're trying to achieve. So with this, we're trying to lose fat and build muscle at the same time. Because again, I was pudgy and overweight. 
So I had to cut down. You have to cut down to then build muscle on top of it because that's what I personally am still trying to do to this day, which I fucking have. You can see the results for themselves. I'm just going to let the results speak. So um, calorie deficit macros. Next thing is a hypertrophy program that I went on. Okay. So I kept all my sets literally did not fucking miss of 45 seconds to a minute with all my sets that I did. So I made sure that I was doing all my reps and workouts 45 seconds to a minute when I performed them. And then I would take around a minute to a minute 30 rest in between my sets. Now this is going to vary too, again, depending on your goals. So again, I'm using this as cutting fat and building muscle at the same time. It's very simple once you have it mastered. So I kept doing that. Boom, boom, boom. Didn't miss a fucking day. Did that six days a week. So I was able to get it a lot faster. If you do this three days a week, it's going to take longer because you're not as physically active as I am doing it six days a week. You do it a lot faster to cut it down in three months compared to six, nine, 12 months because of the amount of intensity that you're doing and just the activity level overall. So the next thing was I stepped on the scale once a week because I know it's very common to step on the scale every single day, a couple of few days. No, literally when I did that, I got so discouraged and I was like, ah, fuck, it's not working. Oh, fuck, I got to change it. Oh, fuck. And that would be like every like day. And I would be like, okay, Nick, you just got to like calm the fuck down. Like, it's all good. Just do it once a week and you'll be set. And that's what told me like, oh, shit, this shit is okay. Now I'm getting the results because I'm only doing it once a week. And then I would be keep going down one, two, sometimes even three pounds a week. So to see that was actually getting the results instead of every fucking day being so like caught up in it. Don't, it just makes you very discouraged. So don't go for that just once a week. Um, the next thing is I recovered properly. So this is a big ass fucking thing that you guys don't fucking do is that you don't recover properly. So the amount of sleep I was getting seven to nine hours, I would get every single night. Um, and then also my supplement stack, So I have a whole supplement stack. I'm not going to go into detail on that in this, but if you guys want a video, comment down below for that part. And the supplements was a big part and a big help with everything that I was taking in to help me recover through this whole process. And then even post-workout nutrition and all that. Next thing, uh, did not miss, like I said before. So one day I did not miss. For, you know, fucking, what is that? 90 days, I did not miss. When it came to my workouts, my macros literally dialed in at whatever my caloric intake was and the macros for it. So I did not miss with everything that I did. And that just fucking says for itself that you have to just put in the work. It's not just going to come to you naturally if you just sit on the couch all fucking day. It's not going to come to you if you do it for a week or two and then you're like, ah, fuck this. This this is so hard. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm a bitch, blah, 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 blah. And you continue to be a bitch. You have to be fully committed to the process in order for you to get those crazy ass fucking results because you will only get half of the results when you only put in half the work. So do more work to get more done. So have that discipline, have that consistency because consistency breaks out resistance and the discipline is building your self-worth as a man. This is time to focus on you. This is where you find yourself when you go deep into the cut. You really start to even just talk to God, to be honest. You start to really tap in to source. So I love being in the deficit as well. I love just being there. And having that presence and more uh, awareness with myself as well. That's a little bonus for you guys that I added. Last thing would be uh, this whole time, I did have a coach. So before I was trying to do this shit, I did not look the way I do now. It's very pudgy, very overweight. And I w- my blood pressure was through the fucking roof when I would go to the doctors. And I always wonder why, because I was on a bulk. So... I had a coach and when everything went down with me with this porn addiction and I wanted to end it and really make something of myself, that's when I reached out to this coach that I knew and we just made it happen. And I made a full commitment with this coach. I paid him over $3,000 to help me with other things uh, for mindset 
and elite status. So literally, it was a full commitment from the get of me making sure that, okay, I was going to get every fucking dollar back that I put into this to make this shit fucking happen and work in my favor. That's how dedicated you need to be to get results like that in such a short amount of time. Because if you're paying for shit, shit, shit bucks, then you're only going to get shit results and you're not going to follow through. So being 100% fucking dedicated will actually get you the results that you desire at the end of the day. Okay, so obviously for fitness coaching, that's it's going to be way different, right? So whoever you go to, if it's me or if it's whoever, right, you can bargain and get something for yourself. It's not going to be like what I just said. That was for some other personal shit that I did. But if you are looking for fitness coaching specifically, I can help you get there. DM me Beast on Instagram at Nick Drivis Fit and we'll get you going. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this one.